okay today we are going to discuss information radiators let me put it ir information radiators is like traffic signal or a big billboard they basically show you what are the information so that you can easily know for example you are going on a road and it is a red light so red light means you have to stop there okay you have to stop there or is it i have yellow okay get ready and green go to it as simple as we can get this this is information radiator information radiator actually came from the same concept they radiate the information and basically they help you to understand the context of that thing in agile we have different type of information radiators and we are going to discuss them let's discuss the most simple one first task board task board basically shows you the status of work it does not matter how many columns are there the purpose of these columns is to show you the status let's say i put to do in progress testing completed it is just showing you the status of the different user stories okay now user stories are there now user story are there now user stories are there uh, the team uh, stand up team or the development team actually basically communicate this status to the team members now this task board can show the status of work progress it can show you the status of the issues status of the risk logs all those things the purpose is to it is a, a progress sharing board and that is one of the most important tool used uh, while you are communicating the progress in your daily stand up now a slight modification of task board is kanban board kanban board came from japanese word and it means to show you the status to show the signal the thing but there's a special thing in kanban kanban worked on work in progress limitation what do i mean by that it limits how much work you can do at a particular time so if i to put to do in progress testing completed same as same columns that we used basically for task board same can be used for kanban board but kanban can put work in progress limit here now we can only do two user stories in progress like we can develop only two user stories and we can uh, uh, test only one user story this uh, limit is put by team and these limit should be as minimum as possible the purpose of the kanban board is to identify bottleneck what does bottleneck mean which things stop or hurdle your progress is it that development that is moving slow is it the testing the purpose also is to establish flow in the progress or also known as pull system like one thing enter one thing goes out it came from the lean concept first in first out like the thing comes and thing goes out basically kanban uh, came from japanese uh, one of the example they use is in a garden what they used to do that they basically have different tokens let's say there are uh, six tokens six people can go into the garden this one person he will has that token and then when he goes out of the garden he will provide that token at the exit so in this way they basically control how many people were there in the garden so that they can control they can clean and things like that more recent example is during covid 19 all the shopping marts have this numbers 19 people can be here five people can be here they actually they actually they here to limit how much work we can do at any particular time how much many people can stand in that shopping mall so going back to our example of the kanban board let's say there are user stories a b c d e f now user story a comes here we can take one more story because the pull the work in progress limit here is to the b can also there let's say a is completed a is moved here now a is moved forward i am crossing it now we pull the next user story 
Now let's say B is completed, but testing on A is still being done. The work will stop here. Yes, the work will stop here, which will indicate that testing is over bottleneck. The testing is over bottleneck because unless this is completed, the, we cannot move forward. The entire work will be stopped. So we have identified our bottleneck. That is the purpose of the Kanban board. One more time, the purpose of the Kanban board is to identify what is the bottleneck. Limit it limits the work in progress. It limits the work in progress. It works on flow or pull system. Uh, and team sets the work in progress limit it should be as minimum as possible so that one person work only at one thing at a time so that is kanban board i hope that makes sense to you the next is burn down chart burn down burn down basically came from the name how much work is remaining it works on the concept of remaining how much work is remaining Let's say there are 10 days in the sprint. Okay. Total 100 story points. Your ideal burn down chart. If I can drive. Yeah. Your, this will be your ideal burn down chart. Can I use this line somehow? Okay. This, your, this is your ideal burn down chart. Which shows that the entire work will be completed on day 10. Okay. This is your ideal burn down chart that your work start on day one and it will be completed on day 10 this is ideal burn down chart now let's say i want to track my progress on the burn down chart what will i do day one maybe i am 90 uh, let's say i put 90 80 40 20 10 and 0 let's say day one I want to put the progress I am here day 2 I am here day 3 I am here day 4 I am here I want to measure my progress on day 3 okay where I am so this is the point if I extrapolate it this means I can complete the work before so any point that is below the ideal burn down chart line this shows you are ahead of schedule ahead of schedule one more time if you are below the burn down chart this shows that you are ahead of schedule if you are here on day four if i extrapolate this this means you need more days if something is upward on burn down chart this means you are behind schedule so this burn down chart is being used as data representation technique as well as data analysis technique you are analyzing this data as well as you are representing this data so this is an important thing burn down is both data analysis and data representation but let's say the exam asks you is it a data analysis technique or is it a data representation technique it is both it, it is both of those techniques but data analysis is more important or it take precedence over data representation let's talk about burn up chart okay let's talk about burn up chart exactly opposite of burn down chart here we want to show uh, check how much is done how much is done okay so again let's say I use 100 story points 0 to 100 and 10 days 1 2 5 8 10 20 40 60 80 so on day 10 all the story points will be completed okay let's say i want to track okay mm, let me change the color day one i am here day two i am here day five i'm here day eight again if i want to measure on day five okay this is below if i extrapolate it this means i may need more time okay i may need more time if i extrapolated it i may need more time to complete that work so anything in the burn up chart that is below this is mean you are behind the schedule if we take it at the upward point this point 
we will complete it before even before the date anything that is upward on the burn up chart it is ahead of schedule okay so burn up chart both burn up and burn down both are data representation and data analysis technique now the question is asked which to use burn up or burn down which one to use it depends what you want to measure do you want to measure how much is done or how much is remaining okay that is the simple thing most of the time you can use both of these chart in your organization uh, looking like this okay and one thing that the burn up chart has over burn down chart if let's say if any scope is added here if any scope is added if i remove this okay let me show you this i'm removing them let's say there was 100 story point it is going going on day three something is added okay so it can actually show you a spike on the burn up chart whereas in burn down chart if I look at their burn down chart since it is remaining, it may show spike like that in the work, it will not be that visible. So burn up chart has one more advantage, it can show the scope added. Okay, so maybe if you want to see uh, the scope added, then you may use burn up chart. Achha, ji, these are the most used information radiator. One more information radiator is used that is actually the graphical representation of this Kanban board. That is called as cumulative flow diagram cfd it is very rarely used but just to put in the context let's say we put the same parameters here the time and the user stories if i represent this kanban board here so it will show this thing like that to do in progress uh, testing completed now it will have different type of colors representing different things okay different type of color representing so at any day at any day if you want to measure which of them is limiting your work in progress which of them is bottleneck let's say we want to measure it on this is day four here at this the smallest line this is basically your bottleneck so that is the purpose of cumulative flow diagram it's very rarely used in uh, in your exam or in the pmp it's more of the concept of pmi scp so what we have discussed we have discussed information radiator we have discussed task board that shows the progress so progress then Kanban board, which basically shows the work in progress limit, identify the bottleneck, work on pull system. Okay. Uh, then we discuss cumulative flow diagram, which is a graphical representation of Kanban, again used to identify the bottleneck. Then we discussed burn up chart, burn down chart, both are graphical representation techniques and data analysis technique. It shows how much is done. It shows how much is remaining. One more thing, both burn up and burn down chart, instead of having, uh, instead of having user stories, this we can also put the risk left, how many risks were identified and they were left. But this is mostly used for burn down. That's kind of an advantage of burn down. Burn down can also be used to identify how there were 100 store risk in the project, how many are remaining. So in that particular case, burn down can be drawn in this way. That's it. risk or issues both can be day one, day two, day five, day ten. Let's say there are risks here. The risk uh, per hundred risk. So as we move down, they should move like remaining how much left. But, uh, just another way to show you the things. So I hope these information radiators are clear to you. Do tell me in the chat box did you like this way or not? And uh, now information radiators are clear to you or not. And do let me know which next topic you want to me to explain you through this whiteboard.